His breath came out in clouds, steaming in the frigid air as he approached the colossal structure that rose before him. Snowflakes clung to his lashes, melting from the warmth of his skin. His coat, heavy and worn, shielded him from the biting wind that whipped around the fortress's corners, carrying with it the scent of metal and ice. His boots crunched over the snow-covered ground, a steady rhythm against the howling silence. He paused, his gaze lifting to take in the towering edifice, its surface slick with ice, groaning under the weight of winter. This was no place for the living. The fortress, like a giant from old tales, stood defiant against the blizzard, its secrets locked behind walls as thick as they were cold. Inside, the air was still and tasted of rust and old stone. He shed his outer layer, revealing a suit that was out of place in this barren land. Fingers nimble from years of delicate work, he reached into his pocket and pulled out a small device, its lights blinking steadily in the dimness. With a final glance at the door that barred his way, he pressed a button and the locks clicked open. He stepped inside, the door closing with a thud behind him. The chamber was vast, the remnants of technology long abandoned sprawled out like the bones of a forgotten beast. He moved with purpose, navigating the debris with familiarity born of diligent study. He was here for one thing, the core. It hummed with latent energy, a dull glow emanating from its center. He worked quickly, attaching cables, his fingers cold but sure. And then, with a flick of a switch, the fortress shuddered to life lights flickering on one by one. His face, illuminated by the sudden glow, showed no triumph, only resignation. This was just the beginning. He knew that waking the fortress from its slumber would change everything. The world outside remained unaware, the blizzard raging on. But within these walls, a new chapter was about to begin, one of warmth and light, or perhaps of fire and destruction. Only time would tell.